Okay, just getting off of work. I'm going to be quick because I only have three minutes to, to record here. Um, I went to go pay my rent today. And the person that was collecting my rent asked me what month am I paying for. I said, um, I guess I'm paying for whatever month I need to pay for, which is this month, which is December. I didn't say December. She went and looked. She said, well, you didn't pay for November. I said, I didn't pay for November. But in my mind, I knew that I paid. You know what I mean? And a couple months ago, I was told that I owed $1,200 on my rent. And I'm like, how do I owe $1,200 when I've been paying my rent every month? Like, I might be late, but I made sure that I pay it. I just caught them. They're taking our money and they're not recording our information correctly. So therefore, there are months that we haven't paid according to them. The moral of the story is keep your rent receipt and keep that until the end of the year. Because they're going to come up with something to try to get more money out of your pocket. I just look at my money order. Matter of fact, hold on. He said I didn't pay for November, but here is November the 28th. Um, so if I pay for November, if I pay this on the 28th, that mean I pay for December then. I wish if they could get their story, their punchline straight. Get y'all story together. How y'all gonna try to rob people at this point? This is how we rob me. Is this legal? <laughs> I guess. Keep y'all rent receipt and keep up with how much y'all paying. Keep y'all balance separate. Write everything down. Be your own accountant because at this point, something ain't right. Period.